In this video, we are going to learn about the binary number system. In our previous video, we saw that it was difficult to implement a decimal number system in the computer. Why? Because it was difficult to have 10 different signals for 10 different decimal digits. In a computer, it is the easiest to vary instructions in just two states. Either the signal is there, that is on, or the signal is not there, which is off. Binary number system does exactly that. It represents presence of an electric signal with 1 and absence of an electric signal with 0. 0 and 1 are the two digits of the binary number system, which are also called as bits. Now, you must remember that 0 actually does not mean absence of the electric signal. It just means that the voltage of the electric signal is lower than that of number 1. The binary number system is again a positional number system like a decimal number system. What does that essentially mean? It means that whatever bit binary digit we are using, its value will depend upon the position. The position is again calculated in the same way, rightmost 2 to the power of 0. Remember, it's a binary number system, just two digits, so 2 to the power of 0. We proceed 2 to the power of 1, 2 and so on. Just remember that the rightmost digit is called the least significant bit. It might be 0, it might be 1, but it is called the least significant bit. And the rightmost is called the most significant bit or the MSB. Remember, this has to be always 1 because if it is 0, then actually it doesn't mean anything. If instead of 1, this number was 0, then actually it is number 1010. 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 would be the same. Now let's do a calculation and see how we can depict a decimal number system as a binary number system. This is 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 to the base of 2. This is a binary number system. How we can convert it into a decimal number system? That means to the base of 10. We have to take each digit, each bit and multiply it by its positional value. So, this is 0, this is 1, I am writing the positional value. This is 2, this is 3 and this is 4. So, what I will do here is 1 into 2 to the power of 4 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 2. This way I will calculate and I get 26 to the base of 10. This is the decimal number that I get. Computer memory is always calculated in terms of bits or bytes. However, bit or byte is a very small quantity. So, we have the chart that depicts that how we can calculate the computer memory. 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. 1 kilobyte is equal to 1024 bytes and similarly we will proceed till we get to 1 yotta byte which is equal to 1024 zeta byte. In this video, we have seen and understood what a binary number system is. In our next video, we are going to discuss about the octal number system.